leader Kim Jong-il has hinted that he would be willing to return to the negotiating table in the six-party talks. Following Monday's meeting with Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao, Kim Jong-il stated that his country would be willing to re-enter talks on nuclear disarmament if relations with the US improve. Wen reaffirmed China's commitment to realizing the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and maintain peace, stability and development in the Northeast Asian region. Authorities along the US and Mexico border are reporting an almost tenfold spike in the number of Chinese trying to enter the US illegally. The Border Patrol in Tucson has detained more than 260 Chinese people caught trying to sneak across the border this year, a sharp rise from the annual average of 32. Chinese, however, remain a fraction of the number of people apprehended. The bulk of illegal immigrants attempting to cross the US-Mexican border are Mexicans. China is accusing the world's rich nations of trying to derail the Kyoto Protocol. Wu Tai, China's special envoy for climate change, told reporters at a meeting in Bangkok that developed nations are trying to change the rules of the game at the last minute. Talks are currently deadlocked on rich nations toughening their commitment to cut emissions by 2020. The UN hopes to hold a major climate meeting in Copenhagen in December to expand or replace the Kyoto Agreement, the first phase of which ends in 2012. China's deputy central bank governor, Yi Gang, has confirmed that China will stick to its current exchange rate policy in order to maintain market stability. Speaking during an IMF meeting in Turkey, Yi said that China's policy is very clear and will remain unchanged for the time being. The G7 have been calling for China, which is now the world's third largest economy, to strengthen the yuan. It has remained almost flat against the dollar since July last year when the global economic crisis began to worsen. China says it's in the process of reforming the exchange rate system but won't allow moves to destabilize its economy.